Get ready to revive the outdoors with Cody and Cody. That's how it's supposed to be done. On the water, in the woods. Pursuits made possible by Trigicon. Brilliant aiming solutions. Brunton, equipment for outdoor adventures. Lacrosse, established in 1897, built the last. Ginsu Outdoors, not just sharp, wicked sharp. Gerber, bend for yourself. Get ready to revive the outdoors. Here we are, it's 2008, we're at the Oklahoma History Center, and uh, every year we do the luncheon with the Lieutenant Governor, getting, getting the hunt kicked off, it'll be going on this weekend. Joining us right now is Mr. Judge Dean, or Mr. Judge Dean Leonard, <laughs> I guess we'll just stick with one or the other. Judge Dean Leonard, Mr. Keith Rose, and then Mr. Jim Holder, and we uh, these are some guys from out of the week we get to hunt with every year, and uh, just have a blast with. We, we've uh, give a couple of books away, which uh, we're, we're available here at the, uh, at the History Center's bookstore, and so we wanted to be sure and give these guys just kind of a token of appreciation for all they do up in Alva for us every year. Uh, we'll talk about that, but while we get here, we're going to eat some lunch, and uh, it's going to be a little while before we get in the woods on these turkeys up in Alva, but while y'all are waiting, check, check out uh, Rancho Alva Blanca down there in Mexico. We took a couple of guys, one from Trigicon and uh, another guy from Wounded, Wounded Warriors. He's a uh, war veteran that was uh, injured overseas, and uh, it, was a, it turned out to be a, an awesome hunt for that guy down there. He had a blast. And a ranch all block is one of those places you just can't pass up. So y'all check that out. Thanks, Cody. I'm John Horton from Trigicon. We're here at Rancho El Blanca, uh, Mexico, hunting real turkeys. This is Robert Leonard from the Wounded Warrior Project. Hey, thanks, John. Uh, totally excited to get out here and, and do some turkey hunting. I, uh, I'm lo loving it being down here with Trigicon. I actually got to use a ACOG on my M4 over in Iraq and. And I gotta tell you, that those products are absolutely awesome. And I understand that we're gonna be uh, mounting some of these on the shotguns down here to, to go ahead and use. Yeah, we've got two new products, or two newer products. Uh, this is a new reflex sight. It's totally battery-free illumination. So we're gonna put that on one of the Benelli's they have here and try that out. We also have a, a Trigicon Red Dat sight. It's a real small sight that's non-magnified. And uh, you know, I'm just excited to get these on the shotguns and, and try them out. It's actually my first time uh, turkey hunting. I, I've hunted once before, but this is uh, this will be the first time you know I've actually called one. We've got these commando calls uh, that we're going to try out, and again, I've never done it, so we'll we'll see how it well, goes. Well, we're so. we're going to learn together because I've never called before either, so we're we're going to have a good time trying to learn learn how to do this for sure. So, uh, what do you say we we get that get out of here and, and go mount these scopes and get after it? Sounds good. Awesome. I mean, there's there's really nothing. You know. Get put on the spot. Yeah, you just put the yeah. red dot on. That is awesome. You ready? Stay wherever you are. All right, here we go. That did it. <laughs> it's on. It's on. <laughs> well, I tell you what. Uh, I I originally didn't didn't want to join the military. That. You know, there, there was really nothing going on. As soon as 9-11 happened, uh, uh, I, I went right out and, and, and after Bush, Bush declared war on Iraq, I, I joined the military and, you know, you, you know that you're going you're gonna to go to Iraq. And, uh, and I was all right with that. I, I really, that's where I wanted to be. We got shipped off to Iraq uh, January 20th, 2005, and really did a, a, a whole bunch of good stuff. Uh, I mean, just stuff as far as, as handing out shirts or hats or, or food supplies to uh, supplying electricity and stuff like that to, to cities that, that normally wouldn't have it. And uh, while, while there, while conducting combat operations there, I, my tank hit a, a roadside bomb and, and amputated my right leg. And, and uh, I got, got, got evacuated pretty quickly and they, they were able to to save most of it, and so I, I was very fortunate with that. 
uh, got back to the States and met up with an organization called the Wounded Warrior Project, which uh, absolutely, I believe, saved my life because they, they grabbed a hold of me and, and, and showed me that, that it was, I, I could still do all this stuff like going turkey hunting in, in Mexico and, or going elk hunting in Wyoming, stuff, stuff like that. And, and I, gotta, I gotta tell you, I, I really think that uh, it's why I'm in as good a spirits as I am today. Uh, I just I just can't tell you how how proud I am to uh, to have been able to sacrifice myself for for the uh, for the country and uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. There's something new in the woods. A major shift in the balance of power. Now there's Commando. All weather pot calls, mouth calls, and hunting accessories let you command the wild. Commando, hunting products with an edge. The edge to success. From Ginsu Outdoors, Wickedly sharp Damascus stainless steel hunting knives with 33 layers of Japanese stainless steel. Superior VG1 core, cryogenically cooled for ultimate edge retention. Ginsu is known for their blade expertise and now they're bringing it to the outdoors. And hey, if y'all hunt as much as Cody and I do, you know how important a great knife is and nothing is sharper than a Ginsu Outdoors Damascus steel blade. Hey, it's not only sharp, it's wicked sharp. See the full line at GinsuOutdoors.com. I won't apologize for being a man. Or let you work harder than me. I will protect those in need. And be the guy others depend on. I will fend for myself. Yeah, there's one on the yeah. right there. Yeah, he's coming down the road. It's pretty good size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, oh, here, here they come right now. Oh, oh God. Oh. Oh, man, you kind of didn't hit Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> I didn't, those three came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. They just started booking it down the road. Oh, oh my God. God. Let's go take go a look at them. <laughs> I can't believe I just nailed them in the air. God, that was awesome. Uh, it, 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 it can't. Oh, gosh, that's one of his tail feathers, too, isn't it? I think I blew his fan right off. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. Look at the color on them. It's awesome. They're beautiful, aren't they? Heck yeah, My they goodness. Are. Wow. Look at that. That's the red and the blue. Wow. 
It's my first reel. What a shot. In the air. There were three birds in the air, and we got the, uh, Robert got the last of the three. Last of the three. Wow, they were, they were booking it down that road, weren't they? Oh, yeah. That was a 20-yard, 15 feet up in the air shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Man. Thank That's you. Awesome. Thank you very much. Well, that red dot sure did do the trick, I tell you what. Yeah. Yeah, not too many guys are shooting skeet with a red dot. With a red Maybe dot. <laughs> in the air with one, so. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Definitely the fast acquisition really helps with those red dots. Oh, I'd say so, yeah. Well, let's go grab Frank and uh, go see if we can get on another bird. Let's do it. Sounds great. Wow, that was that was absolutely amazing. I was uh, I was calling and, and, and looking in over here for for hens to come in, and next thing I know, I, I look behind me and there there's five about 15 yards right behind me. Uh, I I, uh, I I think that one of them was was either a, a real small Jake or, or a bearded hen. I, uh, I I really I really hope that we we can get us a uh, a nice big long beard coming in here, and I, I think. Uh, I think with how much activity we've been seeing, I don't, I don't think it's a far stretch. So, so I think we're just going to try to quiet back down and, and uh, get these birds to start coming back into our calls.
Look at that guy. That was a beautiful shot. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. They came out of nowhere. Look at that. Man, that oh, man. Gorgeous. There we wow. are. Look at that. Look awesome. at that fan. Is that not gorgeous? A lot of color. Look at that. Wow. That's just that awesome. If your greatest adventure is the great outdoors, we'll see you at the Sportsman's Warehouse. Whether you're a hunter, fisherman, or simply can't resist the wild's call, the Sportsman's Warehouse is where you'll discover everything you're going to need to make your next adventure great. And with the city's most knowledgeable staff of outdoor experts, there's always help and advice you can really use. The Sportsman's Warehouse, getting your great adventure off to a great start. Do any amount of hunting and you'll appreciate the next generation of Alpha Boots by LaCrosse. These new Alpha Lights not only keep your feet warm and dry like the original Alphas, they're even lighter and more comfortable. LaCrosse hasn't left out the snug ankle fit or aggressive outsole either. They've just taken out some of the weight, making the trip from the tree stand to the truck all the easier. We all know that other boots cost a few bucks less, but your feet pretty much end up paying for it. And that's why I've kept a pair of LaCrosse boots in my truck for over 20 years. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. Uh, always great seeing a, a successful hunt, especially with uh, somebody as heroic that, that goes and fights for us overseas. But we're going to get out in the woods on Friday morning and see if we can't get uh, Lieutenant Governor Askins a, a, a nice time. All right, let's head out there and do it. Well, welcome y'all. It's 2008, and once again, we're here in Alva, Oklahoma, for the Lieutenant Governor's turkey hunt. You know, Cody and I, we're always, we're always looking forward to this time of year, especially the turkey hunting up in Alva. Mr. Keith Rose, our guide every year, uh, and Mr. Bob Firth is going to be joining us as well. I'll be running the camera on his hunt. And again, the Lieutenant Governor's hunt is more than just turkey hunting. Yeah, it's great fellowship and it's a ball, but it really is a great project to bring business into the Oklahoma. Not only Oklahoma, but you know, different cities and different areas. And, uh, and so it's really cool and, and always getting to meet new people is great. So, Mr. Firth, I'm definitely looking forward to our hunt. Keith, it's always good seeing you great. again. Let's find some birds and we'll catch up with y'all in the morning when we get in the blind. Every time he fans out, that wind catches him. Mm -hmm. He's chasing him off.
Here he comes. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> it's awesome. This is a great tree. Isn't it? <laughs> That's Sorry. great. That's great. Awesome. This is where it happens right here. That had, we got two spots that's hot, man. That had my ticker going for a little bit. <laughs> Boy. That was that was kind of interesting. You know, they didn't see anything for a long time, and then all of a sudden I just seen them pop up there and gone. Yeah. That other one over there was, man, he was jacked up. He was going in let's circles. Go out, let's go out and look at him. Let's do it. Really nice bird. Well, Mr. Bob, it's been a pleasure getting to film for you. And Mr. Keith, it's always fun. Enjoy Boy, it. This has been a great, great hunt. Awesome. Well, we started out in, in a spot that Cody and I have hunted a few times with, with Keith this morning, and the birds act like they were going to work perfect for us, and then right at the last minute, just kind of eased off another direction. And, set and call for a little while longer guys tell us you, you tell them what happened from then on <laughs> well we decided to move and we we came to a spot to, that last year out of the same cedar tree cody shot one with his bow same thing happened the birds come from the same little draw came right in the bird was was uh, being pushed by jake he was trying to fight him off but uh, he came right on in, and, and I think he would have been right in our laps if we would have let him. But uh, uh, it was uh, we decided to take him before he got right in our laps, and it's a, it's an excellent bird, excellent bird. Yeah, and that, that Jake tried to turn him around, take him the other way for a little bit, and yeah. he chased him off, and then he came back a running, and he just he was going to be in our lap. Yeah, he was. Hey, for those of you who have followed Cody and I's show, you know that all our hunts are 100% fair chase, so anything that give us the upper edge in the woods, we're all about it. That's right, Cody. And getting to the stand is half the battle, but we know we can go through some of the toughest terrain, silent and sit free with the all-new, all-electric Stealth 4x4. Check them out at the number at the bottom of the screen, or go to their website today. Up there, by the edge. I'm on him. Wait till he turns. solutions. Now with four self-luminous reticles to choose from, you'll be sure to get your trophy. Trichicon. A spot to, that last year, out of the same cedar tree, Cody shot one with his bow. Same thing happened. The birds come from the same little draw, came right in. The bird was was uh, being pushed by Jake. He was trying to fight him off, but uh, he came right on in, and, and I think he would have been right in our laps if we would have let him. But uh, uh, it was uh, we decided to take him before he got right in our laps, and it's a, it's an excellent bird. Excellent bird. Yeah, and that, that Jake tried to turn him around, take him the other way for a little bit, and yeah. then he chased him off, and then he came back running. Man, he just, he was going to be in their lap. Yeah, he was. Yeah.
Man, they were you were right. They were gonna be right there tomorrow. I was afraid to see. I had I had two little windows and I was I was afraid I was afraid they were gonna get blocked right here and then all of a sudden well, they'd they'd see us and go booger and off. Did you take the big one? Well, <laughs> it's one of those I was going eeny meeny miny mo. It looks like the big one, but yeah. Man. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Here, man. Look <laughs> awesome. Look for that banana. Look at that. One. Yes, sir. Two, three. Four. Four, four beards. beards. One beard. Two beards. Three beards. Four beards. Yeah. Holy smokes. Congratulations. Thank you. True trophy. <laughs> Thank you. True trophy. Wow. His spurs aren't as big. Look at that. His spurs aren't as big as the ones this morning. Yeah, that's unreal right there. That is unreal. <laughs> you got a good taxidermist around here? Uh, well, we know where there's one at. <laughs> wow. That is, that's, you don't see that. And see, this is, this is true beards. Mm -hmm. I mean, people sometimes call them, call them that, that. That's a true beard hooked by itself. That is a true beard hooked by itself. And that is a beard hooked by itself, and then the big beard. You kind of shaved it a little bit. <laughs> yes. That's probably nine inch, maybe. You might get 10 out of it. Congrats, that Thank is you. unreal. Thank you, awesome, thank you. That is unreal. That's beautiful. Well, let's go show another one off. Nice <laughs> trophy. Yeah, we want to show this one off. <laughs> Nice trophy. Yeah. You know, out of all my elk hunts, and I have a 416 I shot with a rifle and a 391 with a bow, I got jacked up more today shooting this big tom than I ever did with those two elk. Right, that makes me feel good. And it was, it was awesome. And you said you could hear me breathing. I could hear you breathing up there. I knew you was pumped. I was I pumped did. up. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Dude. You know, we knew that that was a big bird. We knew we'd seen him earlier. We knew he was big. Didn't know how good, yeah. but that's great. Well, when you see two big ones like that, boy, the ticker starts pumping. Yeah. We would like to thank you, the sportsmen, for joining us on Revive the Outdoors with Cody and Cody. We would like for you to share your outdoor adventures. Visit us at CodyandCody.tv. Join us again next week right here on Revive the Outdoors with yeah, Cody and Cody. This is definitely a good fish, but it's kind of a, a teaser.